Do you have a lot of albums in Google Photos? Have you ever tried using one of those photo albums to give a slideshow and you've been frustrated because you could not add a title slide or you couldn't put any text in it and maybe add some music? And did you want to embed that show into a blog post or a web page? Hi, I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and I'm going to show you how Google Slides can make a slideshow using your Google Photos albums. Google Slides, which is a free app that comes with your Google account, can make a slideshow using an album in your Google Photos. You can either get the photos one by one using the built-in tools, or you can download an add-on extension. I'm going to use Photos to Slides by Clay Smith in this tutorial. You can add titles and text. You can add transitions. Optionally, you can add music. You can then play the slideshow by going back and forth one at a time, or you can auto-play with a timing involved. I'm even going to show you how you can embed this slideshow into a blog or web page. Let's do it. First, you want to start a Google Slides slideshow. I think the best way to do that is to go to Google Drive. And I like to have a special folder for my work. So I'm going into My Drive, click New, New Folder, and give it a title. Now I open that folder and I want to start a new slideshow, new and Google Slides. First, I'm going to give it a theme over here on the right. I kind of like this one and I'm going to give it a title slide. Now I want to take you to Google Photos just so you can see the album I'm going to be using. It's this one called London. Notice it says it has 33 items in it. I want to use I, pretty much all of them. There might be one or two that I don't want. So I go back to my presentation and now you, you can create slides by yourself and add pictures. Slide, new slide, then insert image from Google Photos. I want to go to the album that is London and insert a photo. However, you see that is quite a few steps and I don't want to do that 33 times. So I'm going to delete that and show you what I think is a better way. It requires an extension, also known as an add-on. Get add-ons. It's this one here by Clay Smith. There are others and I don't know about all of them, but I've used this one. And install. You have to choose the account. I'm not using my real account for this. And continue. And allow. And it's telling me that I'll find it under the add-ons menu or it's changed to extensions. I'm done. Now I go to extensions and there it is. Photos to slides. Select photos. This is the free version. If you are willing to pay, I think it's just $30 for a year, you can have things, have feature like display description as caption. I think that would be really nice. I'm going to stick to the free one. I click on photos, the London album, and import. When it's done, you will see that the photos are all in individual slides at the left, so I can close this and go to the next picture. And so, so notice that all of the individual pictures have been placed on individual slides. That's what that add-on does. In this first picture, I want to write an explanation. So I'm going to resize the photo so that I have some space at the bottom and I will write in some text. That's a wonderful part of Google Slides that you have so many options for example, in this one, I think I'm going to draw an arrow to Michael Daniels and put a text. So you have complete freedom to manage these photos and what is on each slide. It is a slide presentation software. 
Here's another one where I want some text. And I want to make it bigger. There we go. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to leave the others alone. The other thing I want is when I go to slideshow, I want a transition in between them, not just a jump from one to the other. You do that under the slide menu and transition. It's currently set to none. I want to slide from the right and I want that just to apply to all slides. So now when I go to slideshow, it looks like a slideshow. You can also add music, but I think it kind of complicates things. But I just want to show you how you can insert music and you have to have some music. I have these free tracks from YouTube. Dance for the Wind sounds good. By default, music is set to play for one slide only. So if you want it to play through your whole slideshow, you have to select the little speaker icon, go over into the options and uncheck stop on slide change. Now, if you play slideshow, you also have to know to start playing the music unless you had turned on that option to auto play. So I will start playing it. Now, as I arrow through the different slides, the music will keep playing. You should give the presentation a name. As soon as I click up where the name goes, it takes the title slide and puts in there. So that's fine. So now any time you might want to play this, you just go to your Google Drive in the London slides, open it up, click on Slideshow, start your music and go through your slideshow. If you hover over the left corner, you see some controls back and forward, go to a particular slide or the three dots and you can auto play and tell it how many, I'm just gonna go every second so that it doesn't take long and click play. stop it, you press the escape key. Lastly, if you want to embed this slideshow in a web page, it's under file and share and publish to web. Then you can choose to send a link to somebody. That's nice and easy. If you just want to send a link to this slideshow, you click, leave it on link, click publish, click OK. This link, if you send to anybody, they can start playing this slideshow. If you want to embed it in a website, you have a couple options. You copy this code and in a blogger blog, you would just go into the HTML view and paste that code. In a WordPress blog, you would use the HTML block and paste it in. So here I am at a WordPress page and I cho choose a block of custom HTML, paste in the code that I got from Google Slides, and publish. You can now go to the webpage geeksontour.com slash Londons and see it. And now here's the real icing on the cake. Once you've built a slideshow using Google Slides and you've embedded it into a website, you're not stuck. You can make any changes you want to the original Google Slides and it will be reflected dynamically in the website. Let me show you. So here is our slideshow embedded in a website. Now I go to the original Google Slides and I say I want to add some pictures to the title slide. Insert image from photos and I want that one and that one and that one. And I'll move them around. I think that's a much more interesting title slide. And now I want to insert a first slide and add a picture. Add a caption. And that's it. That's all I have to do. I go back to the web page and I do need to refresh the screen. There's my new title page. 
And there's my new first slide, like magic. And that is how Google Slides can make a slideshow using Google Photos.